For example, the bison niche. Well, before human intervention, they used to roam most of the Great Plains in the United States, but are now only found in certain locations such as Yellowstone National Park. These bison in the park live in the valleys and grasslands of the park. By eating grass, they recycle the nutrients back into the soil while utilizing energy that these grasses have taken from the sun. The new grass now has an easier access to some nutrients. Bison naturally will like some grasses more than others, which will change what grasses grow more. Bison also wallow, which means to roll around and to put dirt into the air and onto them to clean themselves. That also opens up grass areas into dirt to allow small water puddles to fill and give temporary water collection for other organisms, like amphibians, or mice, or rabbits. Their niche is much more complicated than these few little examples I've given, and include other organisms that they infect by their actions including the diet, mating, herd movements, and more.